I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. of battle. Aid me, be my eyes. Sure. Go, oh, my eyes. Huh? 
Who's that? Everyone all right? Help the wounded, and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, able raven friend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Alf Danyal, he summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Shuffle round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Oh. No use running! Bows! Skewer the rat! <laughs> oh, I've caught a light! <laughs> I'll finish you! Shut a lot! <laughs> Odin, take you all! Well done, sir! <laughs> You thought your belly coward? No! You, sir! Target for the down again! Hey, those! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Are you wounded? Let's work together. Are you free now? I'll live, but my men... If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! For Thor! For Ragnar! For You owe me your life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of a battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then 
to Donna Castor for a victory feast. The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose. It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. You heard the Jarl. Take the gear and start digging. The Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? <laughs> Welcome. I have those if you want them. You want this? Will you be buying this? You will be more powerful than before. This could be nice. Enjoy. I can fetch this if you want. This is in stock if you want it.
I hope you enjoy this. I don't have an eye for these sorts of things. Anything else? I must take my leave. So long. The way is blocked! Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Halfton needs me now. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Halfton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... Is when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Havdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. The silver Eivor recovered there now pays for our war with the Picts. It is wasted fighting Picts. Should be put to better use. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Faravid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I fell them, Haftenjarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Gredjarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we won today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Wine goblets of a Roman Nihilus. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. Tale as old as the world. Oh. 
How true. I... King Risha. Ah, Eivor. We have missed your wit on the Orbit Council. I attend in spirit. Would you lend us your wisdom now, if possible? We are at pains to determine how to deal with the Northern Picts. Meet iron with iron. That is the way. And this feast is how the Danes prepare their blades. We fought well and won. Tomorrow we'll fight again. But we must always make time for celebration. I defer to your expertise. Hacking, hewing and the like. Enjoy the feast, Counselor. How true. I shall send a strongly worded note in protest. Dogs do not beg for silver. Dogs do not yearn to be yars. Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you a wonder. All this. We conquered this, he and I. Together. You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uba, Ivar the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero leads loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravid, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if... Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried countless times and failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up <coughs> unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Audun and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. 
I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his war band, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. The other side must be barred. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. From beyond the well road, from history oh, alone, Oh, you're a fancy a one, a sitting up in Hapton's tower. must Ooh. atone. Finn on dear Gripar. To the Swan Road. Let the sail out. Siegel. <laughs>
brief sail. Sieglieder! <laughs> that must be Fadovit's camp ahead. my eyes. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard. I am not a dog. Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table, like dogs. Farouid! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Farouid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow! Lend me a knife, Farouid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Fadavid. The Picts raided that monastery and plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Ah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I am here to fight Picts. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. are a sneaky lot, masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. Look for the opening. Grab me! Leave no room. Coward, aren't you? Ergy <laughs> scum. Let's 
dein Zephyr. Thank Thor we made it. That was good war work, all. Time to die. This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. in good and godly places. I should be home filling my belly, not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, <laughs> boil your head. We'll gang forth with our friends soon and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. Wrong side of the wall. I'm Bailock Shop! <laughs> 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 March this winter with help from an unknown quarter.
The Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Din, run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster! Ulf! Ulf! Glory for Ulf! Go home! Picked raiders south of the wall. Don't like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move. The Picts don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the pigs make war in winter? They must have a reason, something to gain. Nothing I can see out there. Northern Vassar Hoos. Janet Harper, the Nanam Prem. Nay, Ed Baela, not Marab, sir. Right, leave no breathing space. Not fail you. Just a shame in the moment, sir. Keep at the knee thing. Oh, no fear, Jack. What a joke. Damn it, damn it. Poor game. It's Lamsha. Lamsha. Now the guy sends you gone now.
Johanna. No! Die! Now, to hunt down the Vec Chief. Cast about this land, my friend. There's the chief. Now to strike him down. Ha! Have you come to join your fallen? You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for.
Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ulfur, that's Haftenshire. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The Picts are Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pits later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for Hafdan. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafdan's take. You understand. You won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. There are no secrets in this world, or the next. The Old Father sees everything. We need not fear Odin's eye, only Hafton's wrath. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl, he has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walds. Hafdan's share Stand shrinks up in each ours. victory, like his cock, eh?
Slow sips, Hafton. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned. What news from the north? The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Part of it asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabid wolf. Faravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, wolf kissed. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Markness. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again, at a place called the Walls. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. <clears throat> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. He'll be on top. I'm going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton. I need your eyes, my friend.
I have several contracts to choose from, all worth your while. Come back any time, my friend. Moira is not here. This letter came from Weeke. She must have gone there. I should go to Weeke. Find Moira. And now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the Ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the her skies. To come to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. So the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf king. <laughs> from beyond the well road, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Fatsen ein geiris akta. Der finis.
history unknown. Did the Norse take a stand? And now all must atone. Now mm -hmm. comes Ava of the Ravens with the sun for eyes. Trailing a river of blood enough to paint the her skies. Succumb. It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. Show me. You heathen lover! Away from my house, you ruffians! You can't hide forever! What is this ruckus? Stand back, Dane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. The other side must be barred. <laughs> oh, goodness! You're not... not... One Moira, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It will take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on, then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back, or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus, e ease up now. 
We was only protecting our Hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. Now, leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it will be the last Moira! thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadowsweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Let's go. I can't raise the sail here. Good sailing wind here, Eivor. Sail out! Sail out! Sail sail is useless here. We must row in these waters. No raising the sail here. This wind would fill the sail. We need to row our way out. Sail here, Avon. We will pick up from there. Often, good to find you here. The raven fever returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor! 
Search the perches and lookouts here. We could be spying from above. Olav? Speak to us! Where are you? What see you, old friend? He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. Help! I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Beanton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Sniff them out, boy! We will paint the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. You have done it. We must hurry. Here, a hidden entrance. It might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Hold on, we'll find a way through. <laughs> hmm. 
easy now. Something is not right. <coughs> Need to be careful here. Hey, come here a moment. Give me a hand over here. The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Set on all sides, Eivor, by plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day, decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. She also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh! Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olav in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... that was Olav? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! This is treason, and treason is punishable by death. Faravid treated us better than you ever did. Faravid is nothing, and you are less.
Glory! Glory for all step with me! I'll take you. Go meet your god. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Farrelid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me. I, I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringa. Press him, Eivor, as hard as you can. Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes, yes. Faravid the rat. Words are poison. It... Have a look, Sunin. Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning the... You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. The songs of scalds and the glint of silver. ...can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. 
I came here with Hafnan and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Best not fall off your horse. See you in Yorick. Faster, Eivor! Ride like Sleipner's hooves! Faster, Eivor! Ride like Sleipner's hooves! Your horse is slow, and her ride is drunk! The gods run a fool! Yeah. Fly, my friend. Fly. Show... Having trouble keeping up. My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishier. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishier and his fyrd, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yol? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe yeah. my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I'd prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Hi. Don't do it again. Oh, Best race my hood here. Things are better now, are they not? Ever since Auden, they speak not at black. Oh. I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with ale. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last time. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishia answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishia cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. 
What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from Hafdan in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafdan has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafdan, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is, but we need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it, if we fortify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it. And I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. It happens the way it did last time. <gasps> uh. Magasperbola from Bane Selve, who's mean Adu Michtebog and Strengan and Book and Bringan, are a Stretch your wings, Sunan. Costs more than bread. Things you are better under Arden. Your, this crowd won't listen to reason. Give us your call. Your, just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods, you have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. You'll 
Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Ulfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. What happened to the silver you took from Aldon? You could hire a band of sellswords for that much. It won't be enough. We need Rishia's Saxons at our side. Any fewer would be a death sentence. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself. Force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafdan commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? We all fight for Hafton and for Nosombria. Loyal to the bone, aren't you? 
Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Faravid should be waiting at Stenweya. Nowhere I'd rather be than splitting skulls should you change your mind. I will be here. <laughs> 